Okay, well, I am one win off of rank one. I'm 18 and one right now. Um, I've not gone 20 no yet this year, but I this one loss I had, I actually got a DC while I was up one nil, and uh, I'm gonna count that as a win. All right, I'm, should I count that as a win? Probably not. But I have not gone 20 no yet this year, so I'm gonna try and clutch it up right now. Let's see if we can do it. All right, I'm ready to get rank one to get my worst rewards in like the last three weeks. Let's see what we can do. Mendoza FC. Okay, I think this is a cheater. Yeah, he is bronze keeper. All right, well, this one's not gonna be the game. I don't know if it's like a no loss glitch or something like that, but these guys just DC before. <laughs> no way. I just beat him to it. I don't know if there's a no loss glitch or something like that, um, but probably five, six, seven times this weekend, I had a game where I loaded in and the guy just like DC'd immediately. I just beat him to the punch before he got to disconnect and probably get his free win. And uh, we just got <laughs> rank one rewards off that. So that was pretty anticlimactic, but we'll take it. And rank one rewards are actually pretty substantially better because I think you get a five times 84 untradeable. So that was kind of clutch actually. Uh, we get red Griezmann. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we picked a week where where we don't have anything in packs and we don't have anything in reds either so we literally could not have picked probably a worse week we'll take vela to get uh red player picks or rank one sorry but uh it is what it is it doesn't really matter at the end of the day we get two villas which we'll take i'm telling you right now like even if i got these rewards during like i don't know like a week from now during community tots it probably wouldn't make too much of a difference other than maybe the reds being in the player picks but weekend league rewards just don't matter too much and we get 484 so there you go thanks we'll take handanovic keep it going can we get anything Renato Silva will take, okay. It's all gonna be gold. So I'll have the icon packed in this video also, by the way, um, Lukaku will take. And the last one here we are going to get, okay, well, I mean, there you go. I have gotten better rewards finishing like rank four. So it just is what it is. It's more like kind of for personal accomplishment or personal goals at the end of the day of what you finish in weekend league. But but okay, back to the present. We do have the eye compact for this video. And now we're also going to talk about EA taking one step forward and then also two steps backward, which we'll talk about here in the SBC League SBC section here as those uh, came out again today. There's a leak or two, some news tidbits to look at here also. Also, if you want to know what tactics I use to get rank one, I actually made a video like a few days ago on my custom tactics and then used those tactics in that video and mostly the same team to get rank one so let's begin with the uh showdown cards here ben white and gunduan these were both leaked a little while ago and uh ben white starting off with him he's 6-1 medium high 85 pace is pretty nice you can play right back also you probably aren't gonna end up playing him at right back but if you want to you can honestly the card looks good the reactions composure good interceptions good physicalities is pretty decent it's like a standard good center back card i don't think there's anything much more to it the price on it 86 and 87 it's a bit hefty especially with like the rise of fodder recently and this Elkai Gundawan card also looks pretty good, right? You got a 5'11", high, medium, 4'4". Four, four. Always nice for a midfielder. You can play CDM. Also gets Man City links, which are very nice. A good all-around card, right? No real, like, important traits. I mean, leadership trait. Uh, thanks, EA, for giving him that. But this Ilkai Gundawan's price is uh, 84, 86, 88, and 87. Ooh, okay. Uh, no, um, this is what the cards will look like if they get the plus two. So this is what that Gundawan card will look like with the plus two. It, it is a good card, but uh, it says 800k here is what FUT23 News says. I think he's actually more than that now. Okay, uh, that's just not worth doing. I'm sure you guys know that, but that's what this card would look like. And then the Ben White uh, will actually be one of like the better Prem center backs, honestly, if Arsenal were to win. I think it's probably a lot less likely, obviously. But if you want to take the risk, you're an Arsenal fan or something like that, obviously the draw could mean a plus one one also they can draw but i think the ben white's better uh, but i think neither of them are probably very good we got the 81 times 11 la liga upgrade uh 83 and 84 uh once again do not do that that is just completely not worth it it's it's a tear it's like 80k to complete that it's just terrible value but here we go we got a new kind of set of league sbc sbcs right that came out today we have the prime bronze upgrade and the prime silver upgrade which is fantastic you get six common golds now We're putting in a squad of 11 silvers which is great i think that's awesome that's literally double what they are at the start of fifa and then this one also rare silver five player pack that's more than double of what they usually are usually you get two and this one is going to give you for a bronze squad five silvers which is fantastic also so that's great because you know you're getting further into the year you're probably going to want to have things kind of improve right that's what you would expect and those did improve now we get to the premium mixed leagues upgrade which gets a prime pack at the end but if you look at the packs inside of it they made it worse you get a tradable prime mixed players pack now instead of the tradable small prime gold players pack which is obviously better you get an untradable rare 
mixed players pack now for the Premier League and La Liga segment, which obviously is much worse than the small rare gold players pack that you used to get before. Libin Sud now is an untradeable gold players pack, which is probably not as good as the Prime Electrum players pack you used to get before. You can maybe make the case that that gives you more cards to do or, or put into SBCs, but honestly, I would not make that case. I think that that's worse. And then the Jumbo Gold Pack, tradable, stays the same with the 11 League Gun players. So you still need one from the same club or 11 players from the same club. Sorry, that did not change. So nothing changed other than they made the packs worse. And they say they made the same packs worse in the Mixed League upgrade either, which is already bad enough as is. So yeah, we get an improvement on the Prime Silver and Prime Bronze upgrade. And then they make the Premium Mixed League upgrade worse because we just can't ever have nice things can we but on the real though it's just weird that they well, they were willing to give us this upgrade like for the grinders out there and then make this worse like i don't get it i don't understand that yes you're gonna be able to probably do this maybe more because you can get six golds and five silvers right so maybe their argument is that you're gonna be able to complete these more often but i don't buy it it's like at that rate just make the packs at least the same then right i don't know i mean it just it doesn't make sense to me also reminder do your daily login upgrade okay that's all i gotta say so let's start looking at some leaks and some news here so obviously we know it's already but this friday is community and area to busy tots in case you guys don't know for sure my guess is area to busy does not come out friday maybe it will my guess is to be more like monday or sunday but we'll have to wait and see some eafc news here we've got la liga will also have a new title partnership with ea sports from a 2023-2024 season as part of this partnership la liga will be known as la liga ea sports fc from 2023 so this guy says down here like like liga and uber eats it looks like it. Actually, EAFC is literally going to be in the name of La Liga, which is kind of funny. But another tweet here, every La Liga team should have up-to-date face scans, squads, stadiums in EAFC with the new partnership. It's huge. La Liga will get a lot of priority in EAFC. So my guess is, as you guys know, like the Premier League gets a lot of love from EA. Uh, like there's so many face scans in the Prem. You're talking like almost the entire squads of like every team is face scanned. My guess is they're going to work towards that with La Liga. And it is kind of hilarious that Balde, Araujo, Kunde, Gavi do not have their face scans yet. That's kind of insane when you think about it. Yeah, they need to do a little bit better with some certain players in other leagues getting their face scans. But once again, reminding you guys of the release dates here, we got uh, April 28th for the community team of the season, Premier League May 5th, Bundesliga the 12th, then La Liga, Serie A, Liga, and an Ultimate. I saw some comments asking about like, are the pack weights better than team of the year? And they are much better than team of the year. The higher end cards like the Ulsemans and Griezmanns and Mbappes and Hollands, of course, they're not going to be packed super often, but a lot better than team of the year Hollands or team of the year Mbappe, right? It's going to be a little better than that, especially considering the upgrade packs that will be in SBCs at the time. Let's take a peek at the market. Um, It's bad. <laughs> it was going to happen. Right? We knew this was going to happen. The Sunday sell-off was like, you could even see it happening yesterday on a Saturday. And right now it's even worse. Alloway, Ron, Mbappe, everything's going down, just crashing. That's why I kind of was like, oh, I'm fine with selling. Honestly, yesterday I was fine. Selling into some panic because I thought it was going to get worse. It's getting worse. I actually think it might do okay leading up to it, like over the next couple days here. If you're thinking about selling today now, Maybe think about selling like Monday night, Tuesday night, something like that. It might be a little bit rebounded up from this, but no long-term outlook here for me at all. In terms of buying cards, looking at fodder, it's slowly trickling up still. We got a day today where we didn't get much of for SBCs. We really didn't. Like 87s actually went down a little bit. Everything else staying pretty much the same here. But uh, we didn't get much for SBCs, and I think that's kind of going to be rare. Today, we got kind of the league SBCs, right? That was the content for today. We're going to see every single day here. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Four more days of we have, don't know what's coming out. It's going to be just like upgrade packs and gamble packs. They don't have any leaks for any of it. So we're going to have to just wait and see. And when that's the case, I'm probably looking at, I think fodder will probably do okay. <clears throat> so yeah, if you have any uh, fodder, I still think that you can hold out till maybe 24 hours from now, 48 hours from now probably is what I'd look to sell. But all right, because I have 160 packs or something saved up here, I have to open this pack on my phone and then we'll do the roulette after I open the pack on my phone. I have 150 plus uh, great packs saved up for Prem Tots, which we will open on stream, by the way. Still very excited for that. That. All right, it's in the club. Let's roulette this bitch. We start with Wales, and we do not get a Welshman. Thank God. Ukraine, Shevchenko, I'd rather not. Thank you. I don't even know if there's certain ones we can't get. I'm just going to open all of them and see what we get. There's my goat, Izak, but we do not get Sweden. Thank the Lord. What else we got here? Serbia, Nemanja Vidic. No. Scotland, Kenny Dog Leash. Nope. Russia, I'll take Lev. Fuck it. It's not Lev. Uh, Romania, Haji. Not Haji. Nice. Ireland. Not keen, thank you. Fun birthday best would be kind of cool. Oh my god, it's alone. I already have best prime. Dude, I thought that was <laughs> I thought that was fun birthday best. That's such a troll. Mexico, can I get you can't get Hugo Sanchez? He was an SBC card, right? By the way, Hugo Sanchez destroys me every time I play against him. I literally cannot like if, if I play against that card, it's a brace guaranteed. Puskas? St what are these trolls, bro? Oh my god. Denmark, dear god. 
I've used Prime Schmeichel this year. Um, he was fine, as fine as goalkeepers are. He's just not as good as Timothy or Courtois. So he's going straight into the next one that we'll probably have either tomorrow or the next day in this video. Or in the video that day, I should say. Uh, thank you for watching. I love you all. Let me know who you guys got in any icon packs or anything like that. And I'll see you in the next video. Reversal, peace.